Yo, check it out, dude. This is absolutely popping, right? To think of God or ask something of God is to divorce yourself from God. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. To think of God or ask something of God is to divorce yourself from God. As long as God remains something that's outside of you, some um, force, some essence that's kind of this mysterious essence outside of you, then he remains separate from you. There is no separation from God. A matter of fact, if God, who is all and in all, was separate from you, you would no longer exist. That's the reason why all things are in existence. And even that thing that is unseen is still able to be manifest, or he calls those things that do not exist as though they do, and he brings forth the unseen into the seen world. The reason why this is able to happen, the reason why you in your God-likeness are able to create and manifest the life of your dreams from within, call those things that do not exist as though they do, is because of your God likeness, your divine nature. God is not only in you, you as God, you as the Christ, Christ in you, formed in you, the hope of glory, is not only in you, but is also, check this out, this is really incredible, but is also in that very thing that is being manifest from you. That you, what you truly are, are on all things personified in this body. The Word made flesh. God became man so that man could become like God or be like God. This is the entire story of the Bible, which is one of the most fucking incredible books in the world. I, I, I love all kinds of scriptures, but the Bible enthralls me, man. It really gets me. I get so excited about it. And so the fact that he is all in all... God inhabits eternity, and the Bible says that God that he, he has put the eternity in your heart. Understand that this is all about tapping into that inner sanctum, going into that inner place, no longer creating from the outside out just with what is seen, but beginning to learn how to tap your creative, divine, Christ-likeness and create from the unseen world. This is where all the magic is happening in the kingdom. The kingdom of God is within you. And uh, and so this is so powerful, man. I just absolutely love it so much that you have this power, that you are this power. You and God are one. You are creative. You are powerful. You are innovative. You are imaginative. And this is where all of the creative magic is happening it really begins with you choosing like making a decision right now to no longer just acknowledge with your eyes what is real but to begin to recognize that whatever has been been manifest and will be manifest is coming out of yourself in other words if you're reaping negative fruit or fruit that you don't like fruit that don't taste good see everything bears fruit according to its kind it's because your imaginative life, your inner life, whether you want to realize it or not, has been on negative things and or on, uh, on death. It's been coming out of that tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You want to manifest life, then your consciousness must shift and you must come into a state of consciousness of life, man. And when you're in that state of consciousness called life, called the Christ, then f coming forth from you is life. And you ask whatever you desire and it shall be done because you and the vine are one. You've been literally grafted in. Now the fruit that's coming forth from you is the fruit of the Christ. And this is uh, beautiful. I love this. I've experienced creating in this world, in this beautiful playground, playing in this playground and creating in this world as a beautiful canvas um, for a long, long time, whether that's through healing and health in my own body to others to manifesting things in my own life. But I've also sabotaged my life quite a bit through doubt, through unbelief. I've allowed other people to convince me of what should be. I've uh, concerned myself way too many times with things that are not or that really have no life in them that are part of the dual world and have missed life. And I know that we all do that. We all are both our creative 
in such a way, and God shines on the just and on the unjust, rains on the just and on the unjust, and we're so creative in such a way that we both produce death and life. It's in the power of the tongue, and in Deuteronomy it says that, that God is the one that kills and is the one that raises up. And this godlike nature is impartial in that way, that if you're setting your consciousness, if your consciousness is in duality, then you can be both Cain and Abel. You can be both the destroyer and the bringer of life. And there's nothing wrong with this. But I think that we all innately want to bring life. We want to create and we want to bring life to not only in our own world, but in the, the world around us. We really genuinely want to be the change we want to see. And so I want to help you with that. I just strongly encourage you, go check out liveartistry.co. Go check out silencevalentine.com. I want to help you guys realize what you've always been and begin tapping into that divine creative potential. It is absolutely high time that you start balling out in your God suit, man. So check out the link below. I strongly encourage you to comment, like the video. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe now. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And remember, the more you awaken to the truth of what you are, the more you play. Thank mm -hmm. you.